Hi, I'm Jillian and I'm blogging for theprospect.net. So today's vlog is going to be an opinion piece on the oft-asked question, how many schools should I apply to? Now, Prospect recently published a piece that gives one answer to that question, which is you should apply to as many schools as you can. And while that article actually makes a lot of really good points about applying to a ton of schools, especially in the case of something like you really need to compare financial aid and look at scholarships, I think it's not the entire story. So where am I coming from on this? Well, I only applied to one school when I was applying to college. Um, I actually had seven on my final list, but I only applied to one because I applied early decision and I got in. So it was one of those things where I didn't want to have to pay all of the application fees for all of the schools I was looking at until I knew or didn't know whether or not my school would come through. So if you're going to be do the Jillian strategy and only apply to one school, have all the apps filled out for every single school and have and send all of your um, letters of recommendation. Just don't submit or pay the application fee until you know for sure. Why do you want to have it done in advance? Well, because if your school doesn't work out, then you're really bummed and you have a month to fill out eight other apps. I have five reasons why it's okay to only apply to a couple of schools or why applying to a ton of schools is not a great idea for everyone. So number one, kind of combat some of the other things, which is finances. Application fees are really, really expensive and they're only going up. For most schools, now 70 is kind of par for the course. So let's say you're applying to 10 schools at $70 a school. That is $700. That is so much money. Especially because you can only go to one college. Uh, so reason number two, you might not apply to a lot of schools. Well, simply, you might just be over applying. When you're applying to schools, my golden number is five. You need to apply to at least five schools when you're applying. Uh, make sure that you have at least two match schools, one of which is kind of a low match and a real safety. Uh, the other two, whatever you want, apply to a reach, apply to two reaches. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, so you need at least those golden five. And everything else is anything else is kind of supplemental. So if you're someone like me, where I had, I was very picky about what I wanted and I would really only apply to schools that I really, really loved and had a good feeling about, five is right. And for some people it might be 10. And I think that the golden rate, the, the sort of usual range is seven to 10 schools, which is still, it's a lot of schools. Applying to any more than that, unless you're doing something like eight year med where you have to apply to every single eight year med you have ever heard of, ever. Unless you're in something like that, you really don't need to apply to that many schools, it's silly. And why is it silly? Well, reason number three, time. So when you're in senior year of high school, you are really kicking butt on your grades, but you're also gonna be running your clubs and you're gonna have a ton of responsibility at home. And this is the last time you're ever gonna be with your high school friends all at once where you all still like each other. So you wanna appreciate that and you need time for things and applications take a lot of time. Let's say that you're applying to 10 schools. That's 10 supplements, which if you're putting a lot of time and effort into everything is a lot of time. That is a, that is more time than any high schooler has. So reason number four that applying to a ton of schools is not necessarily a good idea is what I call the flawed logic of riches. So let's say you are Jeff the Dinosaur and Jeff the Dinosaur uh, has six reach schools and they're all 20% acceptance rate and he goes, well, if I'm applying to six schools with a 20% acceptance rate, statistically, I'm going to get into one. This is flawed logic. <laughs> You're not increasing your chances of getting into one. Because if it's a 20% acceptance rate school, it doesn't mean 20% of applicants get in. It means the top 20% of applicants get in. And with things like Common App and people applying to a million schools, it's the same kids getting into all of these schools over and over and over and over and over again. Some get into some, some get into others. But REACH schools are actually now harder and harder to get into because everyone applies to so many schools. You're not playing the game. You're not increasing your chances. You're increasing your chances if you're applying to a lot of match schools and safety schools, but you're never increasing your chances at, a, at REACHs. This is why people, this is why I will roll my eyes and laugh at you if you tell me you're applying to all of the IVs because you're bound to get into one. Reason number five, and for me this is the biggest one why you don't necessarily need to apply to a ton of schools, is in the end, you can only choose one. And let's say, hypothetically, you apply to 20 schools and get into all of them. And let's even say that you cut 10 of those out on the get-go. 
because you can't afford them or you said you didn't like them as much or that douche in your math class is going there and you could never ever ever go there because they're going there. I get it. It's okay. But you can only choose one school and if you're applying to that many schools you probably have a lot of variety because I know for me at least I had a final list of seven schools that met my standards of what I wanted. Um, which were a lot of weird things that, you know, really only apply to me. Things like that they needed to have a collaborative learning environment. <laughs> but, you know, you might need that they have an opera program or you might be compromising your thing. And in the end you can only choose one. So why not whittle down your list to 10 schools that you would love to attend rather than apply to 20 where you would really attend three of them and the other 17 you're just applying to just cause. So there are a lot of benefits to applying to a lot of schools, but if you're like me and you're picky, it's totally okay. It's okay to apply to five schools, it's okay to apply to 20 schools. But just know that applying to more schools is not necessarily the answer.